Welcome to Visit St. Paul and this week's Dine St. Paul Roundup of all the great activities happening right here in our capital city. Each week we will also give you suggestions of restaurants in the area and around the events so you can eat local and dine St. Paul. I'm Todd About Town and right now we are in the Securian Club here at CHS Field where a great event is going to be happening this weekend and it is the return of Grill Fest. And I'm here with Arthur Morrissey. Hi Arthur, how hey. are you? Hey Todd, I'm doing well. How about so you? Grill Fest is back and it's happening this Saturday and Sunday and I believe it starts at 1 o'clock, is that right? 1 o'clock both Saturday and Sunday going to 5 o'clock. All right, so, and the tickets are $60 at the gate, but if you go in advance and you go to the Visit St. Paul website, you get a 25% discount, bringing, I think, the tickets down to $45. Correct, right? yeah, we love St. Paul and we love being back here with the Grill Fest, the Bloody Mary battle, the burger, everything about it. All right, I've been here in the past and the burgers are great. You can go around, you sample some of the great burgers, and of course, you can wash it down with some great Bloody Marys and also some of the other items here. But let's start with the Bloody Mary. Yeah, we have a Bloody Mary Mary battle this year presented by Smirnoff and so we have five different Bloody Marys you can sample as many times as you want. The great thing about Grill Fest is that the tickets all inclusive. So you pay one price, you come in and you have fun all day with Bloody Marys which are fantastic. We also have some uh, a burger battle presented by Hot Valley. So five different restaurants, 5-8 Club, Devil's Advocate, Stockyards Tavern, Tom Reed's. They're all incorporating Hot Valley beer. So a great way to get a great burger, juicy, the aroma's hitting your nose, making you hungry, and then have a great beer as well. All right, and the proceeds, I know there's a charity involved as well. Yep, M Health Masonic Children's Hospital. So we have proceeds going to that. We have a raffle with 10 grills being raffled off all weekend long. So definitely come and enjoy the party. All right, and the battles of the grill back there in the berm is pretty exciting. Yes. All right, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Todd. Arthur, Appreciate great. it. Thank you. Also happening in St. Paul this weekend is the Race for Equity. It's a great program in St. Paul on Fairview, and they're going to have a 5K race and different activities to raise money for scholarship programs in the Hamlin Midway area and in the Frogtown neighborhood, and the 5K race is only $40, so check that out. And when you're in, that, in the neighborhood, you might want to go over to Stewart's in St. Paul. It's one of my favorite places for breakfast, so you can dine St. Paul right there at Stewart's. Also continuing this weekend at the Minnesota Children's Museum, it is Dinosaurs, Lands of Fire and Ice. It's going to be a very warm weekend, so if you want to bring the kids inside and get some of their energy out and at the same time have a great activity, this might be the weekend to go down to the Minnesota Children's Museum. The admission is $14.95. And when you are downtown St. Paul, you can dine St. Paul at the Loon Cafe, which also hosts Trivia Mafia every single week. You can check their calendar of events. And what trip to this children's museum isn't complete without sliding over to Candyland and grabbing some of that amazing popcorn at Candyland. Last but not least, Summit Avenue walking tours commence here in St. Paul. Beautiful tour of some of the great mansions that you can walk down the street, check out with a guide. And that is happening this weekend at 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock. It's $14 for adults. It's a 90 minute tour and it is a great time. And it should be a beautiful weekend for a stroll down one of the most historic and fabulous neighborhoods in this state. And when you're in the area, you know, you're at the end of that walking tour, you might want to kick back on a patio. And I'm going to suggest Moscow on the Hill. It's one of the most beautiful patios, and it's a way for you to dine St. Paul. Well, for more information on all these great events, just go to the Visit St. Paul website, and don't forget to dine St. Paul and eat local. Have a great weekend, everyone.